Hi, Ed. A couple skiers paid Ed to drop him off at the top of Mount McKenzie. They were planning on skiing down today. Yeah, that was early this morning. They should have been down hours ago. Did you check their hotel room? Everywhere. No one's seen them. I'm sure they're still up there. All right. I'll meet you in the car. I'm sorry, Mom, Dad. I gotta go coordinate a search party. That's okay. We understand. God knows I've been through it enough times with your dad. Save some turkey for me, huh? Okay. All right, happy anniversary, Mom. Thanks, baby. speed and coverage. I want us to start at the base of the mountain and move up to Mount McKenzie. They could be allowed in freezing to death right now. That's why we're moving out tonight. It's pitch black. We'd never see them. There's a storm moving in. I want us to be in position to leave first thing in the morning. The time is going to be very important, so that's why I think we should be at the base tonight. They're both expert skiers, so they probably know something about cold weather survival. How far apart do you want us when we start up? 400 yards. And if there's good visibility and we're very lucky, you'll see a range on either side of you. And if it snows, we'll be lucky if you can see your hand in front of your face. Can we call in volunteer units to help us? There won't be enough time. Say it's us or nobody. As we ascend the mountain, I want us to move in closer and closer so we meet at the top. And if we see nothing, we start back down in reverse procedure? Right. Frank and I are going to take the helicopter and go to the base tonight. That could be tricky. We're fighting for time and people's lives. This is going to be no walk in the park. Come on, let's move. That was delicious, Mom. Ten. The ten plus, like the old days. It was really good, wasn't it? <sighs> I'm going to take this over to Matt at the Ranger Station. I think he's going to be a little hungry. Okay. sleep in one position all night. Yeah, well, you were never very good at that. Nope. Thanks. Spending the night here. Sure. Well, you want some coffee? Black, no sugar. Oh, such a man of habit. You think Matt's okay up there? Yeah, I think he's okay. He's doing his job. I don't know why I worry about him. We've been doing this for two years. That's right. I guess it's that motherly instinct. You know, I never worried about you, Jesse. Like hell you didn't. It bugged me for years to quit my job. Yeah, well, it's a miracle you made it through that job. Mm -hmm. And now that you're retired, where does that leave me? Out in the cold. You don't like it on the outside? I hate it. You want to come on the inside? Yeah, I do. Cody up. One thing I learned living in the mountains? Yeah. How to move quietly. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tiger calling Flash, Frostbite, Black Magic, and Pocatello come in. Flash here. Frostbite, I read you. Yeah, this is Black Magic, Roger. Ditto, Pocatello kids. All right, you guys, I want you to move out full throttle. Keep your spacing. Roger. It'll be like looking for two seeds in a cotton gin. Still have a chance if this wind dies down. You still think they're alive? Yeah. Why? The windshield factors could freeze the polar bears behind the hole. I know people like Collins and his girlfriend. They're lucky. They thrive on tempting fate. Survive? It's not right. Jeopardizing other people's lives like that. It's our job to do, not to ask why. If this wind dies down, I want you to take this thing up. You got it. If we have to come down the hard way, this sucker will make a great two-man bobsled. <laughs> I've reached coordinate eight, but there's no sign of the ski as yet. Keep moving over and out. Flash here. I'm at coordinate seven. Nothing much to report, just miles and miles of snow. Stay with it. Roger and out. Flying Tiger, this is Izzy. I thought I just spotted something, but I guess my eyes are playing tricks on me. What's your position? Coordinate 6. Move to coordinate three. Keep your sunglasses on. I don't want anyone going snow blind down us. How do you know? Calling Flying Tiger. I read you. Yeah, I'm at coordinate five. There's nothing. The wind has died down, but it was really gusty up here. Yeah, it's really windy here, too. And Matt, we're spaced too far apart. You got any better ideas? I'm open to suggestions. No. I just have this awful feeling that those two skiers are gonna fall between the cracks. Frank and I are gonna crisscross over the surge pattern. We'll cover any seeds. Hey, come on, Matt. You guys can't take off in that wind. Hey! The wind's gonna die down hard. We find them first. You're buying dinner. Everybody proceed to your next coordinate. Roger. Good luck, you guys. Think this wind's gonna die down? I don't know. I don't have that much of a connection with the big guy. Maybe he'll spring us for a few minutes. It's getting to desperation time. This wind breaks for a minute, I want to get in the air. What do you say, Frank? Well, my training says it's a definite no. My heart says, what the hell are we doing sitting on our buns? I knew there was something I liked about you. Let's get this bird in the air. 